just a correction to the last episode. She was 22. Um, the game killed my 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 empress, uh, my Shansha at uh, 22 for literally no reason. So yeah, we're gonna roll it back. Hopefully that's not too much of an issue for you guys. If it is, sorry, I don't really care. We're gonna be running it live. But welcome back everybody to uh, Persia, or we're now Aranshar in uh, expanded mod family. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Hope you guys continue to enjoy. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So if you are, please make sure you let me know. So we are doing this here. Also, if you guys want to support me, my Patreon is linked below. It really does go a long way towards letting me do this full time for you guys. I really would like to re-roll a couple of these guys to see if I can get a 10% construction cost. Yes, that is so good. So take a look at this. Look at that. 97 now. That is uh, quite the discount. And we will build up as many of those as possible. And remember, we're making a lot of money. So as long as we have that... We can build up plenty of these. We can get a couple of churches as well. I'll gain the corruption. I do not care. And, uh, yep, we'll be able to take this tech in two years. And, uh, you know, that'll be good. We can now also yoink this on the 20th. So I will click that button there and then yoink. And that will give us even more money to buy. Um, I'll take the prestige. And let's see here. As far as missions go, where are we at? Gulf Supremacy. Oh, I've completed this one. Doors to India. All provinces in that trade node. Okay. Not possible yet. Not possible. All right. So a lot of these are mostly just like conquer this entire area. So that's just something that's going to take some time. So this is for the rest of the game. We got 10% advisor cost. So let's go with up to level threes. Well, first of all, let's build our buildings that I needed to do. And then let's go down to like that. And then build the forts that we needed to build so fort line is solid over here yes maybe i build another one like in our bill this is highland so yep build one there because that communicates over here yep that's perfect um and we definitely are going to need one over here so like is there any decent so this is all crappy terrain okay huh build one there and then one here and that will communicate with this. It's not the best, but it gives us an entire line. That way they, nobody can get onto our capital. And then we build one on our capital. And then let's see here. Anything more useful than that? Nope. All right. Very good. So let's switch back over to you. Obviously, we're going to need the money. And then monthly war exhaustion. Well, hot dog. I think I'm going to have to have to buy you. Uh, income from vassals. That's an admin advisor, so I don't really care. Yeah, I'll just take the base tax. It's fine. All right, cool. Uh, the monthly war exhaustion reduction is actually going to be pretty useful, so we'll go with that. Um, and then we just need a level three mill advisor here. Uh, yeah, I suppose we can just upgrade you. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. Holy smokes, just kidding. Uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> That's crazy. Why is that so expensive? That seems uh, unnecessarily expensive. Institution spread and trade efficiency. Very cool. For 10 years. Heck yeah. All right. There you go. That will give us this mission for 10% advisor cost for the rest of the game, which is Vundava. And then uh, 20 provinces that have a temple and a cathedral. And merchant guilds and clergy are loyal. That will give us 20 provinces. All the provinces that meet it will get a tax and a production. And for 50 years, we will get... A province modifier, which gives us goods produced and tax, which is cool. Splendid capital. Isfahan has a great project at least tier three. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. This one. That is not really useful. I mean, it bumps these guys up, I suppose. This one we can't use, even though it's level three. This one gives local prosperity growth in the province, devastation, and manpower. Not the most useful things I've ever seen, but it's, you know, neither nya or nya or nya. I will take that because we'll be able to take that tech, hopefully. And um, I think the monthly war exhaustion is fine for now. Ideally, we'd get, like, some trade efficiency. Leaders without upkeep is not super yet useful for us. I think I will... Nah, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. It's fine. It's fine. 
I'm overthinking it. But yep, here we go. And uh, we'll be able to maintain these guys being ahead of time. Max promoted culture is very cool. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to build a couple of these guys. So let's just do that. We still have our... Um... Oh, no, we do not have our construction cost guy. It's fine. We're making so much money. We're filthy rich. It's really not a big deal for us. Yeah, we'll be able to take both of these two right on the yearly tick. And this one's just going to be a couple months behind. It's not a big deal. Um, let's make sure we take that for more advisor costs. Now, take a look. Our advisors are basically free. That is crazy. This guy is literally almost free. I will upgrade you to a level four. Why not? Yeah, do I have any discounted advisors? I do not. It'd be really cool if I had a discounted advisor, but it doesn't look like we have any luck. So I'm just going to build a bunch of these, um, you know, churches and provinces that I have workshops in because, you know, might as well get those month, get those points up. All right, let's take those techs. And then next month we'll be able to take this. So it's really not a problem at all. Yep. We protect our innovativeness. We still get our 20% production efficiency and 20% trade efficiency. And we'll be able to get the rest of these idea groups soon, which will give us an extra merchant caravan and trade steering as well as... Um, Discipline, army drill gain, and 10% dev cost. Free stability. Heck yeah, bro. Can I get one? Yeah, I can. So here's a nice little trick. If uh, you want, if you're gaining a stability via an event, and you can get a stability for a decent price. Like, this is very cheap. 118 for stab 2, and then you get stab 3. So basically, we got, you know, like 150. It would have been like 160 admin for free. So... That's the trade-off, either 50 prestige or 160 admin. So, reasonable. Now, I could disinherit this guy, and I think I will. How long until our golden era expires? Let's see here. 52. So, we got plenty of time. That is all fine and dandy. These guys are allied to the MAMs, so that's not ideal. We kind of need to decide which route we're going now. So, these guys, we add, like, a decent truce with them, but might be good to, like, attack these guys over here. I could attack these guys, but yeah, the Indian hug box, POV, you're, uh, you're trying to get into India, right? <laughs> Isn't that so typical? All right. So let's go with you and then you and then you No. you. And then, like, Dasha stand down here. I think that's what that province is called, right? Oh, right. They're called Fire Temples. How cool is that? That's our churches. All right. So, where was that one? Here. So, oh, yeah. It's only needed two more. So, that's going to be really good. Koi will get a province. Is it just picking a random one? I think it's just picking a random one, yeah? Doesn't matter. Either way. It's all good. Go ahead and keep those up. And then we're going to start working on manufactories. Downside is is that our, we are losing quite a bit of trade. We're going to need to get more trade over here, mostly over here in Aleppo. Um, now, these guys, are, our truce is up in 37. We have claims on their entire country for the most part, and we will 100% be pushing those claims. Build some infrastructure buildings. Very good, yes. Yes, of course, yes. Naturally. So, we don't have any rebels, so let's go ahead and get drilling on the armies. Why not? And we have our mission done. 20 provinces will get one base tax and one base production. So that's 40 dev from this mission. That is really strong. Um, that's going to boost our income up significantly just right there. Look at that. 51. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That is insane. All right. Isfahan, support for feudalism, at least 50. Uh, well, I think we can do that. Uh, great project that Charbra School. All right. So let's see here. Where is this at? Admin advisor costs. Sounds good. We can do that eventually, I suppose. No big deal. And what is, what is that going to give us? Uh, level 3 philosopher for 50% off. And we will get tech costs for a few years. Shia militants, huh? Have at least 68 infantry, 15 cavalry, and 12 artillery. And have a bunch of dev in a group of provinces. Okay. And that will get us... Until we change religion, manpower recovery, and land force limit. Very useful. Skykeepers, huh? Owns Urfa. Let's see here. Okay. 
So basically just ne need to get some dev over here, which that's fine. We'll be able to do that in our next war. Uh, and then every province that meets the requirement will gain a province uh, modifier that gives attrition for enemies, defensiveness, and local manpower. So that'll be useful. The lost Iranian people. I didn't even, I forgot to look at this. This is our, um, this is the mission tree that we get for being Zoroastrian. This mission tree, I don't recognize either. All provinces in the Persia region has our religion. So that will get us permanent for the rest of the game, tax and dev cost. So we just need to convert this. Why can I not? Zeal until for two more years. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to get started on this branch. So that's exciting. The lesser and greater vis equal justice and some provinces. All right, so that'll happen. Shansha's blessings. Uh, four provinces with at least 30 development. Uh, okay. And a center of trade. So we just need to get... We need how many more? What do we have? We have two. Right. So we need to get this one up because that's grasslands. And then maybe like this one over here. Yeah. Reasonable, I think. That will give us stab cost and global trade power for the rest of the game. Rekindle the flames of war. All provinces in Armenia is a core of ours. We'll get us mil tech cost for the rest of the game and infantry fire for 100 years. That'll be useful for the Ottomans. And then... Um, some wine provinces. Interesting. Okay. The turquoise throne. Okay. All right. So we definitely have some stuff to be working towards. Our choice of these guys is up in 37. So we're just really going to lay low and chill. We do need to grow our army because uh, clearly we're not even close to our force limit. How is our tech looking? So mil 13 is when you really want to start getting some cannons in there. Um, I suppose we could get a couple more for like, you know, for... Um, forts but aside from that it's mostly just for um you know the value cannon so they're not doing much damage that's for sure and i will get two more cav in each stack as well six cav total because we have big beefy cavalry bonuses and then uh, local construction costs go with the production and then obviously we want to get some infantry in the armies as well. So let's go with like four more for you. And then four more over here. And that will get us up to 52,000 men in the field. Obviously we can afford it. So you know what? Screw it. Let's get a couple more cannons as well. I can't um, act like <laughs> there's no need to be stingy. We have the money. We are making big fat, fat buckets of ducats. So there's no reason to not get a couple more. Go up to 10. 10 cannons. That is beefy. So that's 20 cannons total. That's a pretty disgusting. All right. Yep. And we're just going to build them up. Bring them out. Bring them out. And look at that. Even even though we are building up this giant army, we're going to be at 64,000, including 20,000 cannons. We're still like very much in the green economy wise. Look at that. So good, man. I love that. All right. looks like we're taking a little bit of attrition over here. So let's get down here to this province. And we'll drill them, of course. And any cannons that are popping up, I'll just have to redirect them. That's a beefy 32 stack, though. I like that. I said I like it like that. Let's get you guys down there. And our... Boats. We do actually have 20,000 or 20 boats. 20,000. <laughs> Not quite. We do have 20 boats, though. Here you go. So we have a light ship. Looks like I stole that. Let's have you guys protect in Basra. Apparently, it's going to change my trade by seven ducats a month. I don't think so, but okay. Uh, the Levantine invasion. So we just need a big army. Uh, one of the following must be true. The owner of Haleb has to be smaller than us. And um, we have more dev than them and a smaller army. Cool. So we get a permanent claim on the Mashriq region. Interesting. Okay. 
We could we could spank them. We we would roll the Mamluks right now. I'm very confident about that. Let's take a look at their army quality and uh, kind of weigh our options here. Because if I can full annex a rock and maybe even get all the way over to like a fort over here. Oh, they deleted all their forts, bro. No, they didn't. They didn't. They're just mothballed. Okay. No, they're not even mothballed. That's weird. I feel like they weren't showing up. Um, but either way, what I was going to say is uh, let's go with army quality. Let's go with rivals. Uh, morale is comparable. Discipline is actually better. Okay. Okay. If we're going to do it, we want to fight them while we got our golden area here. What is their army quality? Are there like army... Um, comp what's the word? Composition. Uh, they have comparable infantry, less cavalry, and less cannons. Less manpower. And as far as... Um, professionalism, less. We can take them on. Especially considering the fact that we have a better fort line as well. So it's like what we declare war on them and we just like bait them into ta attacking, bait them into fighting us on our, on our ter turf, right? So let's do that. I'm going to wait on this cannon though. Well, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to declare war on these guys. Holy war. They're going to call in the mams. I will scorch this province here on the fort and we're just going to come and chill. And that's it. Now I should probably get over here and scorch this province as well, this this fort. Basra is going to get this button here for local defensiveness. So that way they won't... Oh, 69. They will not be able to uh, siege it down as easily. And I will get over here, scorch this fort. Now the reason why you scorch it is because it takes longer for the enemy to get onto the fort. That is the reason why you do it. Uh, yes, it devastates it, but what it does is it... Uh, since it's a fort, it goes down very quickly. So... Unless you're like being super anal about min-maxing for um, what you call it, your uh, 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 devastation, prosperity, it, it's it's nothing to worry about. Now Timmy is probably gonna be a little silly, so go ahead and attach to me, Timmy. Now I will bring my army over. Yeah, diplomats. So sure, sounds good to me. Let's have these guys split, 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 split. No, let's actually have you guys with the general up there. And yes, we do want to push through this. That 5% discipline is going to be very useful. Um, I don't want Delhi's opinion to go down, so we're going to do that. I will take the discipline advisor here. We'll just stay at a level 2 for now. It's fine. Um, oh. <laughs> Surprise. All right. So it doesn't look like the MAMs are actually going to be pushing into our lands. I haven't seen a single army yet, so we're chilling. Um, let's get a general up there. No big deal get you guys over here and uh they will handle the siege over there by the looks of it i don't even have to touch them so uh yeah this is going pretty easily <laughs> they're not gonna be able to get across more moves because i have it blockaded so even if they get mill access which they don't they have to come this way this is the only opportunity they have so this should be fine let's get our siege guy over here and we got a big old stack of uh artillery so we should yeah level two or you will get the plus five for um, artillery. That's why I was building 10. At least that was my my, uh, my internal monologue was telling me that that was why I was building 10. It was all calculated. It was part of the plan. There you go. These guys are full occupied. I will convert Golestan, which is great. That will give us, allow us to get through that one mission. Now, you guys are coming over here. You guys want to head into Sinjar? Yes, you do. Oh, very good. Ah, of course they run faster than my army. AI is always faster than you. Always. Innovativeness gain. Uh, construction cost, stab cost, national unrest. I don't really have any unrest, so I don't really care. Let's go with core creation cost. Because I'm going to have to core up all that stuff anyways. So, no big deal. And uh, once we get like down to like Al-Karak, we'll be able to just roll them. They built a fort over here in al Jaff. Interesting. Not where I would build a fort, but that is fine. Tikrit. Sounds good. I'll meet you guys in the farmlands. Hopefully, I can wipe you. That is... Mm, yes. Very good. Very good. Stack wipe. St 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 stack wipe. And then here you go. I got 34. So, I'll hold it for myself. Yep. Let's just get these guys down here. Bring these guys around like this. Yeah, they're bringing their armies up, so we got to be mindful of it. Um. Oh, wow. Another one. Level 3 guy. 
with the uh yeah th that is totally fine with me let's go ahead and hire that guy again and then uh, trade efficiency very good up to level three get you up to level four and might as well make you level five since you're so cheap and just like that we are doing well so i'm i'm not going to i'm not too keen on letting them get into our lands so i will get them over here Yep, so these guys are just going to grouped up over here, and these guys are going to reinforce. So hopefully we can clap them. We will reinforce. So they took pretty heavy losses there. That's pretty good. And this little one stack of artillery hopefully will get caught. Just kidding. Of course they won't. We've won the Siege of Damascus. Let's uh, head on over here. This is Highland, so... ay ay ay. Of course. Of course they're faster than me. Why wouldn't they be faster than me? All right, this is fine. I did think I saw an army up here. Let's uh, get you guys to handle that like that. Al Karak is mountains, and it is still mountains, even with uh, this terrain mod we have. Got some rebels over here. Corsani separatists. Okay. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? All right, let's get down to Al Karak now. Their army is 67 strong, so we got to be mindful of that. But yeah, these guys, they're, uh, they don't stand a chance. I will come and meet them in Hissing Kaifa. Okay. This is also Highlands, so I don't really want to fight them there. But these guys don't have a general, and it doesn't look like they're going to do anything. Did I just, did it just say I was getting raided by pirates? Is Hormuz pirates? Can they raid? It definitely just said I got raided by pirates, yeah? I swear it did. Am I tripping? I am Confucian. Oh, nice. My subjects went down and got that. A siege ability guy who's half off. Okay. I'm in. Let's do it. Look at that. We also need to get Spy Network on these guys. That's a misplay on my end. And, uh... Somehow... These guys are chilling over here. That is a stack wipe. Just kidding. It's not, apparently. No, it was. We're good. Alright. Let's come over here and handle those rebels. Probably only half the stack is necessary. The rest of these guys can head up here with a general. Hope... Hopefully catch this two stack. Just kidding. AI is always faster, bro. It's so dumb. It's so annoying. All right. So those guys are wiped out. Let's get you guys down here. This army will handle all those rebels. That's fine. What kind of a path is that? Either way. Now, I will hopefully be able to handle this stack. This, this mountain fort here. There we go. And we'll head in here and wipe out that army there. They're up here on Haleb, so we don't want them to take that. So we're obviously going to head up that way. I do need to scorch the province here in uh, Al Karak. So, oh my gosh. All right, this is fine. Timmy's over here sieging down Cairo, like you do. There you go. Let's just carpet siege these guys down a bit. If they want to attack me, they can. It's definitely going to be in their to their detriment. Go over there and siege that back. No big deal. They've got rebels. Surprise. Oh yeah, war score is not looking good. <laughs> Up to 77. So I will take everything I have claims on over to... Ooh. Of course. Of course. <laughs> that is fine. Of course, let's do it. Release. Um, so here's the question. Is it worth it? Or do I just separate piece these guys out for like... Well, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. If I want to release a Syria... I would at least come up to like here. It would give me a shorter truce with them, but not by much. I think this is fine. Yep, this is all Syria. And then we can reconquest the rest of Syria for them. So that is what we will take in this war. So no exceptions. Let's uh, scorch this province here. Those guys will be there on the 24th of May. Okay, well, just kidding, apparently. Head into Tabuk. Have these guys do a quick purpose siege over here. Those rebels I don't particularly care about, so it doesn't mean much to me. 
Get you guys back over here. They've got a big old army. So, uh, yeah. As soon as we take their capital, they're going to be pretty eager. There you go. All right. That is it. Nice. Um, Just kidding. Oh, Ugh, they took the province back. That is so dumb. Okay, this is fine. Let's have you guys head over here. Stand on that. And then let's take that province back. Um, Let's go with... Is there anything else over here? What is this one? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Re Reformation has some of the weaker ones. It's just this guy here is really strong. Let's go with uh, Institution Spread and True Faith, I suppose. And uh, we'll just need to occupy these provinces back. Or basically, we need to occupy all the... Oh, it's the Knights raiding their provinces. That's what it was. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I was confused about that for a second. All right, there we go. Let's have you guys get carpet, get kilt over here. And there you go. You will get kilt over here. Apparently, we're, we attack them over here. Not on purpose, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to kill them. You guys are going to get bent, mate. As as uh, my British lads would say. You guys will get that finished up. The extra discipline and dev cost. And missionary strength and goods produced. Oh my gosh. Goods produced 15 and center of trade upgrade cost. I don't care. 20% goods produced. What changed that? Is that historical ideas? That's uh, kind of nuts. So our income is going to go... Oh my gosh, it's going all over the place because we're at war. 43. Okay. Let's get on to Tabuk. That'll give us a little bit of extra... Hey, we wiped them out. Let's go. All right. So, yep. Mams have lost 51,000 men to my 41. And uh, clearly, I win the war, right? We get an extra merchant as well because we finished it. Uh, let's have you guys steer from over here, I reckon. All I need is that occupation there. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. We will take all of that. I will release an uh, Syria. Now, I could have converted their provinces first. I don't care. It's really not a big deal. We are super zealous, so we will be able to convert their provinces without much effort whatsoever. Let's get you guys somewhere more useful for rebel suppression. Convert these provinces before I core them. And uh, we'll be able to take a little bit of innovativeness here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can dev. We can definitely dev. So we're going to do that. Any dev we do is just making us even stronger. So dev it up. But yes, that is a great place to call it. A bit of a land over here in the Levant. Got a subject who's got lots of cores over here that we'll be able to take back very, very cheaply. So that's exciting. Uh, we might be able to shorten up our truce with these guys. Yes. If we have like a core on Yas or something like that. We could attack Hormuz. Yes, I think we attack Hormuz for Hormuz. Mamluks will come in. I will white piece the Mamluks to shorten up our truce with them. Because I already have an army here. I'll just like march down, siege down Al Karak, right? Something like that. And to piece them out. And then that way we can have a shorter truce with them. Because right now our truce is going to be 15 years, right? Or thereabout. Yeah, 15 years. So if we can white piece them, then it'll cut it. Even if it takes two years, it, it's only seven. So it cuts the truce in half. We'll take Hormuz. We'll separate piece out, you know, Yas for something. Who cares? Either way, that's a great place to call it. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell. Join the Discord, subreddit, the Twitter. It's all linked in the description below, as well as my uh, second channel, Chubert, and my Patreon if you want to support me. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.